Well, it's already arguably the premier grassroots motorsport category in Australia, and now the Toyota GR86 Racing Series is readying a new car. This is the second generation of the GR86. Of course, it's based on the GR86 road car that launched in 2022. This car will be on the grid from 2024, so still another season away, but before then, we've been afforded a very quick test drive here at the Sydney Motorsport Park. So this is the eighth season of the GR86 Racing Series in Australia and it's been a really successful category in getting people from grassroots motorsport right up to the top level. So we're seeing the likes of Declan Fraser, Will Brown, uh, plenty of other guys that are now racing in supercars and beyond. With this second generation car, Toyota and the officials were really insistent on not changing up the formula too much. They wanted to keep it as affordable and budget friendly as possible. So all up, the car's $90,000 and then officials say it's about five to $6,000 per round to participate. So five round championship, you're probably looking at about a $150,000 investment, which isn't particularly cheap, but for a national level motorsport category, I guess it is kind of cheap as well. So. The car itself, Neil starts with a Toyota 86 road car, $46,000, $45,000 plus on road costs, and then turns it into this turnkey package which retails for $89,990. He starts with the shell, the car, fully assembled, ready to go, and compliant with all the ADR regulations. He strips it, takes a lot of the equipment and bulk out in terms of weight, puts the roll cage in, paints the roll cage, reassembles it, and then whacks all the go fast bits on it as well. So this car, as you can see it now, it's got the AP brakes, stronger braking package, new semi-slick control tire. And then inside, if we take a look, it's very much a bare bones package. Um, they've put in a new MoTeC uh, control panel there, a MoTeC ECU, a full exhaust system, including headers, uh, control suspension, um, and some other little light tweaks as well, like the netting and everything else you need to comply with a national racing series. So all up, they're saying they're getting about 20 kilowatts more than the previous 86 racing car and a healthy bump in power and torque over the standard second generation 86 road car, which boasts 174 kilowatts and 250 newton meters. But enough of the numbers, let's go out and see what it's like on track. Well, I'm not going to lie, we probably had all of two minutes at the wheel of the new second generation 86 racer. Um, but what I can tell you is it is a lot of fun on circuit. It's quite tail happy without that traction control intervention. So I think throttle modulation is going to be really important, which is great for a grassroots category because you're really able to hone your skills on circuit. Otherwise, it really does build on all the great values of the 86 road car. It's balanced, it's rear biased, it's a lot of fun, um, and you can really build your skills with this car. It's gonna be really exciting to see the second generation 86 racer on Australia's best and fastest circuits. If anything, it's just a shame we won't see it in 2023.